Hello everybody and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are making my stuffed green peppers. Um, now I think you guys will really like this. I have a little bit twist on this recipe also. And a, in this recipe a lot of people use like a tomato base type in their filling. Um, I don't do that is what I use is one pound of ground beef, seven ounces of um, pork sausage, and as you can see, I don't know if you can see it here or not, um, I've got that cooking right now in my pan, and a lot of people put rice in their filling. I do the same thing, but I use the rice aroni, um, the creamy pork cheese rice aroni in this mix, so I've already got that here. Um, it's already been cooked. Just follow the directions on the box. And um, so I've got that here and we're almost, um, this is almost done here. And also when a lot of people don't um, cook their peppers before they stuff them, but I like to boil mine for at least about five minutes or so. And also, I was going to add, now, I also put one tablespoon of sugar in my water um, and over my peppers, you know, while they're cooking in the water. And um, it just, it takes the bitterness out of your peppers so if you might have a picky eater in the house you really don't like the peppers you know or your kids or something that really ain't keen on green peppers I think they will like them this way because it does take a lot of the bitterness um, out of the peppers so I just add one tablespoon of sugar and I kind of mix it around in the water a little bit and uh, try to get my peppers down in the water at least coat it a little bit. Now my peppers have been in the water for um, at least probably about 10 minutes or so. But you know that's okay. 5-10 um, minutes or so in your water. And so I am going to turn that off here. I'm going to stir up our hamburger and sausage. Now I'll put a little bit of garlic salt, um, some minced onion, I'll put in there a couple, four, five, six dashes or so, um, a little bit of salt and pepper, and that's about it for that, and it looks like it's almost done here. And I think the sausage in the in the mixture with the rice and everything, it makes it taste really good. Like I said, a lot of people use like a tomato type base in it, but I don't use that. Um, I don't know, it seems like a lot of tomato products um, don't really go good on my belly. <laughs> and that's probably true for a lot of people. Their stomachs are, you know, sensitive to tomato products. So... Um, that's another reason why I don't put um, tomato sauce in mine. So, but um, when you mix the um, the rice aroni and everything together, um, it's like it's it stays moist. You know what I mean? Because of the creaminess in your rice aroni, so it stays kind of moist, so it don't like dry out on you when it's cooking um, in um, the oven. So we're going to shut this off, then we're done. And I have a pan right here that I'm going to put um, my peppers in to stuff them. So we're going to take the peppers out here.
And this is a pretty easy, simple recipe to do. But um, when I first started making these, I just used like regular rice and just put it in my hamburger mixture. And um, I was in the store one day and I was looking at the rice aroni and I was like, ooh, that four cheese sounds like it would be so good in my stuffed pepper. So that's why I started using it and it, it turns out really good every time. So get our peppers out of our hot water here. And then I will put, I've got medium cheddar cheese here and I've got the Italian style. I've got about six ounces of cheddar and about four ounces of the Italian style shredded. So is what I'm going to do is I put just a little bit of cheese in the bottom of them of each, just a maybe about a teaspoon or so in the very bottom of the peppers. And that gives them a real good cheesy flavor down at the bottom when you break into your peppers when you go to eat them. And then I'm going to take our rice here and mix it in with our hamburger and sausage. And as you can see, I'm using cast iron. <laughs> These are my husband. When I moved in, he had all this cast iron, and I never knew how to cook with it. <laughs> so, over the years, I actually, I have to admit, I have burnt a couple of his cast iron pans because um, I didn't know the temperature of them, you know, and they're kind of hard to cook with, but... I think I'm getting the hang of it now. <laughs> so anyways, we've got our rice mixed in here with our hamburger and sausage. And oh my gosh, and you can see it's like, it's really, like really moist in there. So, and then we are going to stuff our peppers here with our mixture. like I said I think I think kids will really like this too just because you put the sugar in with the peppers and it tastes it takes all that bitterness out of your peppers and for years I I had a hard time getting my own kids you know to eat stuffed green peppers and they would always just eat the inside out you know and not and leave the pepper and then I decided, well, I would, you know, try putting sugar in them when I cooked them, when I boiled them, and it, it definitely, it makes all the difference, so if you have a pick, picky eater in your house or your kids don't like them, try the sugar trick. I think it'll work for you, so... And also, um... I was thinking about doing another live, um, and I don't know if everybody knows or not, but I have, oh, I don't know, probably about five or six um, old hand-sewn quilts. Um, I think you guys probably seen the one that I gave away um, on my last giveaway on my live. Anyways, I was kind of thinking maybe... Um, um, maybe do a couple of lives and cook some goodies or cookies or a really good dish, you know, and um, have like an auction for my quilts. Um, I don't know if anybody would like to do that or um, I don't know, maybe after this video, leave me some comments on, on what you guys think. Um, the quilts that I have, they're, gosh, they're so beautiful and um, everybody just really commented on that last one that I had um, in my live. 
So, um, and gosh, oh my gosh, I just, I wished everybody could have won that quilt. Um, just because they're so beautiful and everybody commented on it, you know. And, um, so, yeah, if you guys could just leave me a comment and let me know what you think about maybe auctioning off, um, a couple of quilts, you know, I... I'm still kind of new to this, and I think everybody probably knows that, but, you know, um, it really helps me a lot when you guys comment, and I really um, um, like, you know, everybody's suggestions, so, you know, just keep them coming, so, and it looks like these are almost full, now I've got six peppers here, so, you know, this mixture probably fills up. It, it's like it's perfect for six peppers. So, it's kind of hard to get them to stand straight up a little bit there. <laughs> but, yeah. And yes, I am. I am making a mess. <laughs> but that's okay. It's cleanable, right? <laughs> Okay, so we got them all stuffed now, and I'm going to take the rest of um, my cheese, and I'm going to top them all with it, and uh, and the Italian style cheese, the shredded cheese, it's really good on these two. So instead, you know, a lot of people will just use like plain cheddar cheese or something, but the Italian style cheese makes it taste really good too. So. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Oh, and they turn out so good. And like I said, if you guys have picky eaters, let them try this. I know they will really like them. So, and then is what I do so the bottoms don't burn. I do put in just a little bit of water at the very bottom before I stick them in the oven. And then I put them on 350 for 20 to 25 minutes. So, there we go. And then I am going to put these in the oven and clean up. <laughs> and when they're done, I'm going to pull them out and we're going to come back and see how they are. Hello, everybody. And we are back. And our peppers have been in the oven for about 28 minutes or so. So let's see how they are. Ooh. Ooh, warm. Oh man, they look good. Oh yeah, they look really good. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but <laughs> they look great. So I was going to take one out here. And there's still a little bit of water left in the bottom of the pan, too, so they don't stick. And we're going to cut into his, this one right here. Let's see. Maybe you guys can see that a little bit better there. And the pepper is still just a little bit, um, has a little bit of firmness to it. Oh man, yeah, <laughs> it looks really, really good. And it smells delicious, and I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but there's the finished product. And... I think you guys will really like this dish. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, and it's got a little bit of a twist to it. You know, I don't do 
put a lot of things in it that other people do so I think you guys will like this and um, I'm still going to bring on my um, enchiladas and my chicken alfredo that I've been promising and we will get to that also I'm going to be doing a couple of little um, like I've got a really good recipe for like some divi uh, divinity fudge um, regular chocolate fudge and um, some cookies so I think you guys will like them and also I have some other stuff um, some people wanted me maybe to put out a video uh, kid friendly something you can do with the kids and I have a really fun little you know uh, pizza idea for that you know and what kid don't like pizza right so anyways um, this is it for my video and um, I thank you guys for all coming out and uh, joining me and watching me and um, yeah um, like I said before leave me some comments and let me know what you think and um, you all have a good night